Hello friends, welcome back again to uh, Engineering Tutorials. Uh, today we are going to study about semiconductor diodes. Now <clears throat> the semiconductor diodes are similar, they are the same thing as PN junction. So let's get to know first the definition of a semiconductor diode. Now a PN junction device formed by suitably joining P type and N type semiconductor is called as a semiconductor or crystal diode. So it is the same thing as a PN junction but why to use it what is the necessity of a semiconductor tile why does it hold such an important place in the field of electronics engineering no, electronics <coughs> it has one unique property that it conducts current in one direction in one direction only it conducts only when it is forward biased and no current flows through it that is conduction is zero when it is reverse biased it permits the flow of current only in a single direction it is unidirectional it permits flow of current in one direction and one direction only so let's first uh, see the symbol of a pn junction diode now it consists of an arrow head an arrow mark followed by a vertical bar so this arrow head represents the p type part of the pn junction while the arrow head resem or signifies the n type end of the pn junction so the pn junction diode has two terminals the p type terminal or the arrowhead terminal and uh, the end type or the vertical bar end or vertical bar terminal so <clears throat> next we are going to discuss about the biasing of a semiconductor diode we know biasing simply means applying certain voltages to a device so similar to the biasing of the pn junction there are two modes of biasing a semiconductor diode forward biasing and reverse biasing so we are going to uh, study these two things one by one separately now <clears throat> forward biasing of a pn junction diode now <clears throat> a pn junction diode is said to be forward biased when the arrowhead end or the arrowhead terminal which is the p type end is positive or it is connected to the positive terminal and the vertical bar end or the end type end is connected to the negative terminal of the supply battery so it is uh, exactly same as that of the biasing of a pn junction so it permits the flow of conventional current in the direction of the arrowhead 
the direction of the arrowhead so uh, denotes the direction of the current flow in the circuit from the positive terminal to the negative terminal of the supply next comes reverse biasing so a pn junction diode is said to be reverse biased if the arrowhead end or the p type end is connected to the negative terminal while the vertical bar or uh, the end type end is connected to the positive terminal so this is the reverse bias condition or reverse bias mode of operation of a pn junction diode in the reverse bias mode the conventional current flows in a direction opposite to that of the arrowhead <coughs> so it is exactly opposite uh to that of the sorry this one is the forward bias uh, it's written forward bias but it is reverse bias by mistake it's written forward bias so in reverse bias the conventional current flows in the opposite direction to that of the arrowhead so it is exactly opposite to that of the forward bias condition now next we are going to uh, discuss about the resistance of a semiconductor diode as there are two modes of biasing of a semiconductor diode it offers two types of resistance whenever it is biased forward resistance and reverse resistance so what is a forward resistance we know resistance is the net opposition or obstruction to the current flow by any material so forward resistance is the opposition or obstruction or resistance offered by a diode semiconductor diode when it is connected in forward bias condition now the forward resistance of a diode can be quantified by the mathematical relationship as forward resistance r subscript f is the forward voltage or the voltage across the diode by the current or the forward current flowing through the diode when connected in forward bias condition in general the forward resistance is very small very very small ranging from 1 to 25 ohms that's why the current flow in forward bias condition is very high next is reverse resistance now it is the opposition obstruction or resistance offered by a diode in the reverse bias condition we know that uh, the current flow in the reverse bias condition is uh, very less negligible so ideally the value of r uh, reverse resistance or r subscript r is infinite that's the ideal value but in practical some amount of leakage current flows due to minority carriers called as reverse saturation current we discussed earlier in my earlier video so due to the leakage current the reverse resistance is not infinite actually the ratio between the reverse resistance and the forward resistance is 
40,000 is to 1 for germanium and 10 lakh is to 1 for silicon. So obviously the reverse resistance is very high but it is not infinite as some amount of leakage current or minority current or reverse saturation current flows even though it, the diode is in reverse bias mode. Then we are going to discuss about the equivalent circuit of a semiconductor or crystal diode. We know that in forward bias condition or when a p-n junction diode is uh, connected to a forward bias mode, it does not conduct current immediately or there is not a sharp increase in current at the instant. It is because of the existence of the potential barrier, the depletion layer which acts opposite to the electric field supplied by the voltage, forward voltage. So initially some amount of uh, forward voltage is consumed in overcoming that potential barrier. Then once the potential barrier voltage is exceeded, the knee voltage is exceeded, the current flow becomes sharp. So the equivalent circuit of a semiconductor diode takes into consideration all these factors. And here we also discussed about the internal resistance offered by the diodes during forward biased and reverse biased conditions. So that factor is also taken into consideration. So all totally whenever a p-n junction uh, or semiconductor diode is connected to a supply voltage there are two hurdles or obstacles which is ha which uh, it has to overcome first is the potential barrier voltage next is the internal voltage drop this is for the forward bias condition is the forward current i subscript f and rf is the forward resistance which is uh, lies in between 1 to 25 ohms. <coughs> so here we have various models to uh, quantify the equivalent circuit. In this model a p-n junction diode can be represented by a voltage along with a forward resistance then the diode. Now this one is the forward voltage applied. Now applying KVL in this circuit we get Vf minus Vb which is the barrier voltage and the voltage drop across the forward resistance. The product of the forward current and the forward resistance. So here are the two obstacles which the forward voltage has to overcome to achieve unhindered flow of current. The built-in potential, the barrier potential and the IR voltage drop due to the forward resistance. So <clears throat> at the knee voltage or the built-in potential, the current starts to fo uh, follow a linear relationship and this much amount of voltage is used up in overcoming the potential barrier. Next one is the simplified model where there is no resistance or internal resistance of the diode involved, just the built-in potential or the potential barrier. And this one is the forward voltage applied across the diode. Applying KVL, Vf minus Vb is equal to 0. And in other words, forward voltage at which current conduction takes place is the built-in potential. Now the 
<coughs> voltage current graph is like this at VB there is a sharp increase in current as there is no IR drop it does not obey a ohmic relationship as it is done here in the, this there is an ohmic curve but here there is a sharp increase at PB next one is the ideal model which has no built in potential or potential barrier and no uh, internal resistance of the diode taken into consideration so obviously when we apply KVL VF is equal to 0 volt so 0 volt at 0 volt current conduction is achieved in the PN junction diode which is marked by here there is a current increase sharp increase in current at 0 voltage so here we have discussed about the basic concepts of PN junction diode starting from its definition its modes of biasing equivalent circuit and uh, hope I hope you like this video and uh, keep checking into my channel for more such videos on uh, electronics, electrical engineering, instrumentation, communication and uh, thank you very much.